Let's turn it on. It's saying it's broadcasting, buddy. Okay, good. Get yourself a drink of water. Yep. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I've got my coffee here. Should have got grab the coffee. Too early for a beer. <laughs> Way too early for me, yeah. I'm <clears throat> sure what's happening. Ah, <clears throat> oh, here we are, mate. We are live. Hello there, Matthew. Hi, Katie. How are you? I don't know how long we've been sitting here um, visible to you guys, but <laughs> I didn't even know we were going live. Good morning, everyone. Uh, quickly introduce Steve. Stephen Ford. Hey, Peter, how are you? Stephen Ford have um, been connected for almost a decade now, I think, Steve. How are you, everyone? Steve is my go-to guy for everything website, Google, online related. And uh, on the back end of the masterclass a little bit, Tony, around the financials, I started thinking about what would be the next thing would be great to talk about. Um, and it'd be marketing. Marketing. Hey, Chris, no beers, too early. What's up, Luke? Um, we marketing, in particular, we're going to be talking about websites. So we're going to hang on for another 30 seconds. If everyone can hear, hear and see Steve and I, just um, punch in like we can hear you or give us a thumbs up just to make sure we're communicating with everyone. Thanks, guys. That interesting delay I was talking about, Steve. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks, Luke. Thumbs up. We can hear you. Thanks, Katie. Um, quick question, guys. Can, um, can you just do me a favour? Uh, can you see Steve myself and my uh, iPad on the screen. I just want to ask that question because I can only see myself. I just want to make sure you can see Steve as well. <clears throat> Steve's the good looking guy in the black shirt. The other good looking guy in the black shirt. <laughs> cool. Just give him a second, give him a couple of minutes, mate. Or yep. five minutes, yep. 10 seconds, Steve. No worries. <clears throat> Not Steve. Okay. Not Steve. He pops up every now and then. Uh, maybe when we're talking, mate. If I, if I start talking now, can you... Hear me yeah. or see me? Oh, it did, mate. It swapped. I could see it. I could okay. just see you then. So thanks for your part. Thanks for your help, guys. We just wanted to make sure I oh, can see Peter Andre. Where is he? There's no six pack here, Matt. Um, <laughs> so like I said, thanks everyone for joining us today. I know we're going to um, get a ton of value out of it. Uh, this is on the back end of the Masterclass a couple of weeks ago. Now, <clears throat> Thank you for everyone that put their websites into the comment section the week before last. Steve and I are going to go through everyone's websites um, pretty quickly and give everyone a bit of some pointers and tips. I think Steve's already got some of them loaded up. So I just need a drink of water. So get a pen out, get a piece of paper out, get something to drink. We're going to try and keep this under an hour. <clears throat> uh, I know the first one off the rank is going to be uh, New Look Painting. Uh, I know Ringo and I put together a bit of a detailed report for, for Justin that we'll send to him later. And uh, today we're going to do a bit of an in-depth look at yours, Justin, uh, between Steve and I. Um, but I just want to cover something really quickly before we push on. Now, everyone understands, well, probably not everyone understands, everyone sort of gets a bit of an idea I harp on a lot about the three main functions of a business, of a painting business, being able to market, sell, and deliver our services. So the, the context of today is, um, no, 
and get rid of that. I'm not even going to draw. I'm not even going to draw it right now. The contents today is around the marketing component. Now, in particular, how we niche, how we build authority, and how we attract our clients. Now, we're focusing today on websites, but just want to highlight to everyone today, like in this day and age, or well, this time, what's happening around us at this at this period of time, um, the markets, well, not the markets change, we have to change a little bit because if our message is going to be exactly the same as it was six months ago, it's going to fall on deaf ears. So we need to be able to pivot in our business. I know it's a go-to word at the moment. Pivot in our marketing and look at other ways we can put tweaks on how we're going to um, deliver our message to our target market, our niche, and what medium we're going to be using. So what we're going to be covering today is uh, websites and online. That's a medium. So if you're predominantly in residential repaint, re, sorry, residential repainting, but typically your target market is going to be on the interwebs between social and Google. So you want your message that you're delivering. So if you're targeting residential repaint, Queensland is up in Queensland or Victorian style homes or internals or whatever type of niche that you're targeting into, ensuring that your message that you're delivering to your market lands on the right ears. So, hey, David, Peter, cool. Uh, so what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna switch over to Steve. I'm gonna give Steve the reins today and um, he's gonna, is that good, Steve? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Good? But before I go on, I think I'll just put you on. When you want to have a chat about what you do and what we do and... Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, hi, everyone. My name's Stephen Ford. Uh, I own Media Fortress, um, which is a, a web hosting, marketing and website company based in Melbourne. I've been working with Taz for, yeah, seven, eight years now. Um, we've been seeing a lot of changes on how people have searched the interwebs as Taz calls them. And uh, Taz obviously was one of the first people to sort of jump on, on board um, and realise the benefit of driving leads through the internet. Um, and really what my main focus for many small business is, is to increase conversions through to their business and a conversion being either an email, a phone call, or some kind of interaction with the business. Um, now, painting is a very specialised area. Um, you know, you have to have a qualification to do so or, or you should do it in any way, in any case. Um, and sometimes there may not be thousands of searches for your business type in your area. So what is most important when somebody reaches your website is that they do interact with it. They do look through your services. They do look through your gallery and they do at least reach out and get a quote. Um, that way, <clears throat> and Taz, I'm sure we'll go into this at a later stage with you guys is putting them into your sales funnel or your pipeline um, so that you, if you don't get that uh, contact with them immediately you can down the track and I know Taz has a lot of different strategies for doing that so um, it's not you're not just getting that one click and, and wasting it so that's what we will touch on today with all of our websites and we're going to have a little bit of a look at website design and we're going to have a look about the services that you are offering and ensuring that you are maximizing um, every lead. So for example, if you are only getting, and uh, you know, uh, let's just say 500 visits a month, we wanna make sure that at least 25% of those customers are making some kind of contact with you or, or touching your company. So some of you will have visited Taz's website in the past, um, just to give you an example, and you would have then seen his ads on Facebook. And you might've been thinking, um, oh, that's because I've been to his Facebook page or that's because I've been to his, um, I've interacted with Taz on Facebook, but in actual fact, it might've been because you visit his website. So at this stage, Taz, should I share my screen or should, um, did you want to share your screen? Or I wasn't sure how that part worked. Uh, 
Mate, I think I think we share your screen so you can drive it. Okay. Otherwise, you'll be directing me to do things, and yep. I'll be a bit behind the eight ball. So. Um, okay. So um, wait. If I can just figure out how to share my screen, that would be excellent. Minimized video and share. Ah, you're still sharing your screen, Taz. So I'll just need you to unshare. Unshare. Stop share. Sorry, mate. I couldn't help but colour in. <laughs> I like it. Okay. There you go, mate. So share screen. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. Can everybody see my screen at the moment? I can see it, buddy. Fantastic. So we have uh, newlookpainting.net.au. So this is Justin's website, guys. Justin Allen. Justin yeah. Allen, yep. Yeah, switch. Absolutely. So let's go through all the positives. I think that's always a good place to start. I think <clears throat> this is a very simple website. I think the uh, call now is really in your face up here in the top right-hand corner. Um, could use a little bit of separation in the numbers um, just for those who, who are a little bit older, maybe older users and yep. of course a lot of your users will be older now this is a desktop view and i did check this on my mobile phone just before this this website call and the <laughs> website is loading correctly in my mobile phone uh, or my smartphone we do want to ensure that our users are not having to pinch their fingers together to zoom in and our content um, that is definitely a factor for people leaving our website and going to another website. So Justin has covered off the phone number quite well. He's got his phone number up in the top right-hand corner, yep. quickly followed by his contact button up there for people who are wanting to send an email. As we look down the page, uh, we are seeing the call now button here. And let's just click that. And that does tell me I can make a call from Skype. So I assume on my mobile phone that will just pop up. Uh, we have a little bit of an introduction about what he does, which is absolutely fine. We do want some content on our homepage. Um, older websites or depending on your targeting strategy will have more content on the homepage. It is something that is a bit, um, you know, we always want some content on the homepage is the end of the story. Yeah. So who is New Look Painting? I like this bit. It gives us a quick link here. Um, what we could add here maybe is a quick link through to his about page or a little bit more about the team. Uh, if there was more, was more information available that I think that there is, yep. Uh, specialists in all coatings. So... Always, it's, it's really important that our visitors understand the message that we are sending them. So whether you're an outdoor timber brought back to life, interior paints, small sticky hands. Yep, okay, so great. That's all about painting and, and the type of paint. And we see that Dulux accredited uh, leading the industry. So there's a little bit of a point of difference that Justin has. Um, he's a Dulux accredited painter. That's the brand of paints that he would expect, uh, his clients would expect him to use. And Dulux is extremely well known. So you do have that sort of benefit on his side. Now, one thing that I would say would missing would be some links here through to his testimonials. Um, just that trust factor. Uh, so that people can immediately see uh, that he has worked on on there because you've got this this opens up a, a, a bigger conversation Taz about why people are visiting the home page and I'll get that to that in a moment yeah mate um, but often in 2000 and, uh, 2020 the home page is more of your business card than your marketing page people who visit your homepage are really looking to make sure that you are an honest, trusted business. Um, so you do want to include a lot of information without saturating it. So some trust badges on the homepage, maybe a, um, a, a testimonial or two, 
<clears throat> and in the case of a desktop, we may want to also include links to key pages in our in our footer area. And our footer is defined by the <clears throat> footer of the page. I like the fact that Justin only has these small logos for his Instagram and Facebook down the bottom. I am not a big fan of sending users to Facebook or Instagram from your web page. And the reason for that is because they get distracted. Uh, yeah, mate, that's, I, I agree. I agree, Stephen. The, 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 the best way I like to, um, well, the best analogy I like to use between social and website guys is say you're at a, you're at a bar, you're at a mate's, we, <laughs> once upon a time, we used to go to barbecue with friends. Once upon a time, back in the old days, um, not anymore. So back in the old days, when we used to go to barbecues and, and, and mix with people, well, socialize with people and have friends around, you'd meet someone new at a barbecue and you'd say, hey, how's it going? And you'd have a bit of a chat. For me, that is the context of social media. It's that light interaction. You know, you don't on the first meeting go, hey, buddy, come over to my house and let's go play I don't know, snooker or whatever you want to do with your mate, this new guy. However, the website is more, after you get to know someone a little bit better, then they'll potentially, you'll, you'll go hang out or go do something together later on. But that, that's how I see the website is more substantial. But, the, but if you're doing it the reverse, going from the website to social, you're right, there's way too much distractions popping up on there. Way too many things popping up and you start scrolling and you lose them. That's right. So, yeah, I mean, they might open, you know, 10 tabs. They might open their, their they'll, they'll see a notification in their Facebook, for example, and they'll go, I'll oh, just click on that quickly. Then they'll read that and then they'll start posting on this other. And they've totally forgotten about your business. So, very important. Keep them on the website, keep them interacting with your website. Um, the reason it was as well with the website, it's your property, you own it. It's not Facebook's property. Facebook can um, create lookalike audiences and Facebook can send advertisers um, of other businesses um, who are targeting you. So keep that in mind. Correct. Okay, so just looking back at Justin's website, um, let's go to his about page. And I like this about page. I think probably what's missing from it, we do have his testimonials here. Maybe we could have made that a little bit more obvious. Um, I'd like to see a photo of Justin and possibly one of his team, if he yep. has one. Um, if you're a small um, painter, just make it obvious who you are. It's really important um, that people understand. For the, for the types of local businesses, you're wanting to use that human touch it's it's you know we often talk about marketing but it's human to human um, that's really what and what Taz was just touching on before we're creating personal relationships so let's personalize yep. it yep spot mm -hmm. on especially in this day and age where we, our ability to be able to go and do quotes is getting more difficult and difficult um, and, and it, this this principle of marketing hasn't changed and I don't think it's ever going to change. It started whenever marketing started way back in caveman days when the first caveman wanted to try and pick up the first cave woman in, in, in trying to market. It's people want to hang around or have relationships with people they like and trust. Now, having, like Steve said, a picture up there, um, it's the first introduction. Like they, they're going to engage you to look, hey, okay, that's who he looked, that's who Justin is, or that's who Matthew is, or that's who Michael is. Um, so yeah, I agree with you there, Steve. Yeah, so I mean, just just further to that, I mean, if you, as you grow your team, um, I know, for example, um, if you grow your team uh, and you're sending out, there's a photo of you, you might have somebody who's following up your quotes or your sales, if it's not yourself, They'll understand that you're the director, you're busy with other things, but at least they know who you are and they can go back to you if there's an issue down the track. They can reach out to you. Hey, Taz, we had a problem with this painter. Can you please follow it up? Those kind of things. So bring back that relationship. Make sure that people understand that, that you're a human and you know, um, you deal, we, we're dealing with people. We're not, they're not dealing with some faceless entity. Yeah. Um, yep. So now, um, just 
just on this, um, Justin, if, uh, if you, there's going to be a lot to go through. So we're probably not going to go through every single piece on your website. So I will be sending you through that re a detailed report for you to review. So that way you can go back into it in your, in your own time. And uh, you can obviously hit Steve and I with questions um, later on anyway. So just don't feel like we're rushing it or that we're not going to every specific detail uh, because we have, and we did put in the document that we're going to send to you. Yeah. So with this uh, testimonials, I'd like to see a testimonials page and I'd like to uh, maybe separate the about page. Doesn't mean you can't um, include all of this information, but being able to easily go to that, um, those testimonials up in the top menu is a good idea. So I'm going to presume from this website that Justin only does residential. He doesn't do commercial or industrial. Is that correct, <clears throat> Taz? I would believe so looking at this website, yeah. Okay. So I don't know, Justin, about that. Um, just if you are doing commercial, let's make sure that you are covering it off. Um, we do have a little bit of residential information here. We do have an exterior page. But one thing that sort of pops out to me is maybe we aren't covering all of our services. And this kind of gets into search engine optimization and landing the customer on the page that we want. Now, this is a, I found that this was a Wix website. So in Wix, you might wanna have a look at the SEO settings for the page. You'll see up the top, we are on the residential page at the moment. But if I look up here, we'll see the title is residential, my site. My site, I can see that. Yep. So that doesn't make sense to Google and it doesn't make sense to a user. And the reason why I say it doesn't make sense to a user is if I just grab your domain name, quickly run across to Google and pull up all of your pages if uh, that loads. Might be running a little bit slow. Running really slow because we're live zooming, streaming live in the Facebook. <laughs> okay, maybe if I have a look at this one that oh, I there it is. earlier. Yeah. No, that was just popped up. There we go. And... <clears throat> okay, so that's not loading and page okay. unresponsive. Wait. So I'll just close that. We won't worry about that for now. But if you just imagine <clears throat> your website, if for example, you wanted to target a keyword, residential painters, Ipswich. Let's just say you did appear on the first page of Google for that term. That's what the, your clients would see, residential, my site. It's not really something that they're going to want to click through to. Um, so I'm not just hoping, does that make sense, Taz? Yep. Yeah, it does. It does. Yep. I, I did load up this page here. Mm -hmm. What we're looking at here is browseseo.net and browse.seo.net is simply a, a <laughs> search engine browser. So it's used by people like myself just to have a quick <coughs> overview of what, how, a, how a search engine looks at your page. Wow. And we can see here, just looking at the home page, this is how it might look. That's pretty cool. Okay. So, so cool. just imagine an inner page, like your residential. It would show residential dash my site. So and that's then, down the bottom there, Steve, where you're highlighting, that's where that's how it's showing up in Google. Yeah, so that cert preview is where it is, is showing up. Um, that's correct. So okay. this gives us a little bit more information and this is one of the first things that I go to. So I can see here that this photo uh, Justin has pulled from his Facebook because this looks like a, a Facebook uh, URL. Yep. And um, he may have saved it back to his computer or something like that. Google can't understand that. Uh, so you would probably want to change it to be something more like what he has done in his logo. Yep. New look logo, J JPEG. Uh, what makes a little bit more sense. Now, can I ask you a question, Steve? Once upon a time, before I met you, and I did all this myself, um, I did what currently now are pretty 
not, eth- not I should say ethical things you can't do them today, but back in the old days, yep. I would keyword each photo to what I wanted people to find. So no, I, I agree with that. You, you okay. can still keyword each photo. Next I'd write residential painters, Brisbane, or house painting in Brisbane, and each for keyword each single photo that went on our website. So that's still relevant today. It is absolutely still okay. relevant. Yes. Yep. Um, what you just do want to make sure that you are doing before you are uploading those photos <laughs> is uh, resizing them for the web. Okay. And if possible, you want to condense those photos so that they are um, uh, as small as possible so that they load quickly in a 3G phone, 3D oh, phone section. Good to know. I didn't... I didn't realize that. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So what I'll do after this is I'll, I will send Taz a list of useful tools and um, he can share those with you all. So don't Thanks, worry too much about um, writing these down or, or memorizing these. So yeah. as we can see, uh, these photos are, you know, fairly large and they're fairly different. So that might be something else. Now, because Justin is using Wix, Wix, did have a competition with WordPress, who some of you may be using, um, to see if anybody could rank higher than them for their given keyword. And guess what? Wix lost the competition Mm -hmm. and they were supposed to pay $50,000 out, but they found some loophole anyway. Was that a real competition? That was a real competition. And SEOs around the world got together and they built their own websites to see if they could outrank Wix. Yeah. And they did. Easy. Yeah. So just keep that in mind. But just looking here, we can see that the reason that SEOs like myself hate Wix is because it bloats the code and adds a whole bunch of code that Google hates. And we can see an example of that here. So I just interrupt you for 10 seconds. Um, Gabe asked a question about, are there any hosting providers? Is it, would any hosting providers get better search engine optimization than others? Okay, so what you should consider is that the, the best choice for your users, the people who are visiting your website is the website loads quickly for them. As a search engine factor in 2020, no, the location does not matter. So it's more about functionality. It's more about functionality, but you, there are two caveats with that. One, the website should load fast for the people who are visiting the website. uh, And you can overcome that with certain techniques. Um, but, and as well, I would, if the budget allows, you should try getting a server uh, that only has one IP address. So just from my own testing, um, if you have an IP, a dedicated IP address and you're on your own server, <laughs> such as a VPS, you should get better results than being on a shared host. So a shared host is what most people are using and you'll be paying anything from five to 20 bucks a month for that. Whereas a VPS, you get more resources so that your website can load faster no matter what. Um, But it is a bit more expensive and generally starts at about 50 bucks a month up to about 250 bucks a month. So um, it's one of those things, those decisions where you've got to sort of build that into your, your planning. Okay. That's a good thing to consider. Generally, but for the majority of people, you can go with any host. Okay. Um, there is talk like you don't want to be in a, on a host in a bad neighbourhood. And bad neighbourhoods are defined by SEOs such as myself as websites on a shared server that have been penalised or doing dodgy things. Yep. Uh, in Australia, if you pick an Australian host, for the most part, you'll be fine because the other websites will be shut down. So just go Australian. You should be buying Australian anyway. Um, yep. And you'll be fine. Is Ventra still Australian? Yes. Yes, they are. That's that's who we're on. Just double checking. It yeah. is. Yes. Everything gets sold. Cool. Thank you. Ventra are absolutely fine. 
Um, and uh, if everyone, I'm not sure if everyone got all that, you probably can rewind it later when you go back to listen to it. The, um, the benefits, well, the pros of um, WordPress site, which is the, the platform your site sits in versus Wix. Um, Steve was just saying there that WordPress, hands down, um, beats it. Yeah. So just another thing I wanted to touch on quickly, you know, I think it's something, there was a stat put out by Google and it was really high. It was like 90% of websites receive no traffic. So you yep. do need to think about your audience and how you can actually get people to your website and interact with your website um, just on that. And Having a fast website, having a website that's easy to navigate, absolutely key to the success of your business. Now, we are on Justin's residential page still. Um, this is absolutely fine. Personally, I would put more information on this um, page. I would sort of be thinking this is really because I've got experience in this area, but I'd be looking at the actual title of the page. So residential, residential what? It's residential painting services. Um, I'm looking at the keywords here. So he does mention residential immediately, which is good, but it says paint job. And to a computer, uh, Google's um, AI, it's not, it maybe is not going to understand what a residential paint job is. It might think it's looking at this keyword residential. It's looking at paint. Is this a painter or is it a painting or a paint supplier? And job, is it looking for a, a job? Like is somebody looking for a job? It may not understand with limited amount of content. So we do need to actually go to Google and then find um you know, what our competitors are doing, what maybe is sets the benchmark for the amount of keywords that we're looking for. Uh, generally 500 to 1,000 words, and in some cases more is where we're at. But um, a lot of SEOs will say, that, say these days, you know, 1,000 to 2,000 words per page. That's not necessarily true. Okay. You need to look at what Google is looking for. Don't look at your competitors and think that's what they have. Look at what Google has on the top listings. That's what you need to look at. Because and that's and guys, take that with every piece of marketing that we do. It's, it, I, I, I encounter, and some, you know, sometimes I'm guilty of it too. I start looking at what everyone else is doing. I start thinking, oh, I need to be doing more of that and more of that and more of that. When the reality is just stay in your own lane. It's about your message to your market and the medium you're going to, we're talking about websites now and the medium you use to communicate with it whether it's through social, websites, brochures, radio, TV, your message has to match the market. Not, your message doesn't match the competitors. Don't, yeah, that's what Steve's making that, I believe that's what Steve's trying to make that point there. Absolutely. And it's with every piece of marketing we do, it's so easy to be distracted, especially in this day and age with so much content on social and you see what everyone's doing, you start thinking, well, now I need to be doing more of that. Well, if that's what your market wants, yes. Better to take a step back and just start looking at what your market wants. And if you're not sure how to do that, ask them. Yeah. So sorry, sorry to drop Steve. I tend no, to I completely that. agree with, with your sentiment <laughs> there, Taz. So that's really important. Uh, just quickly back to this page, where you where possible, always keep your conversions in mind. Uh, we're looking at the residential page still, but I could go to the exterior page and uh, there's no contact form on this page um, and we do have the phone number up the top, but remember the people get distracted. They might come down the page and then shoot off somewhere <coughs> else. They might be visiting your page at 1am and I'm sure some of you will uh, know that you've had inquiries at 1am or 3am or 5am. So important to think about the people who are going to email you or contact you via messenger or another method, not necessarily your mobile. You probably don't want them ringing your mobile at 3 a.m. Um, or even texting you because it will wake you up. Some of you will be up early like, like Taz. I know he gets up 
super early. Um, I don't have my mobile anywhere because I would prefer people email me at those early hours. Um, so we'll just quickly jump over to the contact page because we're, um, I know we're short for time. Yeah, uh, We've got our contact information here, telephone number, absolutely fine. We are using an Outlook email address, outlook.com. I probably wouldn't recommend that. Um, yeah. It is okay for small businesses starting out, but <coughs> you do eventually want to consider getting your domain name in there. I, I agree, guys. That one. It's a, it's a, it doesn't take much to do it. You can get your domain name in your, into your email. So it's going to be you know, admin info, Justin at whatever, support quotes at, sales at. Just, yeah, it just differentiates you between um, the pack. Okay. So we'll just quickly jump across to uh, SEO for your keyword research now. Keyword research is an extremely <laughs> time cons consuming thing. Um, there are lots of keywords and Quick, the quick takeaway I'd like you all to take away for is optimize your pages for a specific search term. Try not to optimize your home page for anything other than your branded terms. And the reason for that is because you can switch and pivot with an internal page. Um, you can add additional code and markup. You can delete that page if something goes wrong. You can never delete your home page. Um, as I said earlier, your home page should be your business card. Um, if you just have a quick look on screen here, thanks, mate. We can see that Paint Place Ipswich, Painter Ipswich, does have a search volume of 140 per month, and there are variations <clears throat> of that. Um, you can always put in the keyword that you're wanting to look for. Um, and scroll down to the bottom and most of the time there will be some keywords down here. Yeah. Um, as you, okay, these are all branded searches, but here we can see here, um, I was just looking at uh, Justin's branding and if he actually appeared under new look painting, but if we just have a look here, searches related to new look painting, um, it could be searches related to painters um, in, I don't know, um, Toowoomba, Sydney, Manly, Melbourne, wherever. Yeah. And it will give you related keyword searches. And they're keywords that you can immediately say, hey, Google knows about these keywords. I can introduce these into my search marketing campaign. Cool. So um, social links below. So I'm jumping across back over here to the contact page. Look, um, I think there was a map here. I think it might be just my connection. It's not loading. So again, that does come back to having a fast website. Yeah. Um, and there are lots of other things we can do with this page. And uh, I think Taz and I will go into those with Justin at a later stage and, and cover those off in a few notes. That's right. Yeah, we can with a few things that could make a massive difference to your website, Justin. Um, but in the interest of, you know, conflict of interest, we're going to share those privately with you. So um, we'll send it to you later. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So... Um... Hey, mate. Um... Is there anything else you want to cover on Justin? Should we push on to a couple of the other ones Do quick? Yeah, look, let, let's jump on to the other ones quickly. Um, look, I, I, think, I think the takeaway is Justin, now correct me if I'm wrong, jump in Steve anytime, <clears throat> is great start, good, good pictures, keywording your photos, think about uh, potentially moving from a Wix site to a, a WordPress site platform um, to improve the SEO. <clears throat> A yep. um, bit more clarity on your call to action. So a very old principle of marketing is the AIDA principle, uh, attention, interest, desire, action. So your call to action or somewhere on that page, just make it look like call now, just make that really clearer um, on that page. And then also looking at you getting a, uh, an email with your URL in it rather than Outlook or, or Live or Google or Yahoo. That'd be a brief summary, Steve. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely agree with that. Cool. 
So especially for those of you at home who are currently not working on the business, you know, I know Taz is a, a firm believer of work on the business, not in the business. Hey, this is the best time to be working on the business. So, yeah. um, you know, if, if we want everyone to come out of this uh, coronavirus um, ahead, ahead of the curve and has done a whole heap of work um, so that you can sort of position yourself um, as the market leader in your area. So let's quickly jump across to some other websites, Taz, and if I just move this, let's have a look at, first one I've got up is inspiredpaintingdecorating.com. Okay, so Inspired um, looks nice. It's a nice, simple website. Great, we've got a little bit about uh, Clint here. Got a photo of him, fantastic. We've got yep. professional painting services. Okay, we're in the right place. We've got an interior painting. Doesn't click through. There's no uh, blurb about anything there. Uh, <laughs> the only other thing is I'd say we are using a .com. Dot .coms are fine. I don't hate dot .coms. They rank in Google. Um, <coughs> perfectly fine and I prefer them to a .net but um, you do need to look at the search engine and see what your competitors are using. I will often recommend local businesses do use a .com.au because that is what Australians are used to. The market. That's what the market is dictating. Cool. So I've quickly jumped across to the services page. Okay. And just waiting for that to load. This is going to be uh, relevant for a lot of your websites, but you do have interior house painting, exterior house painting, epoxy floor coatings all on the same page. Create your own pages. Clint, again, you're using Wix. It is possible to do so in Wix and update your 2018. Where possible, add a contact form to your page. We want people to make an interaction with your website immediately. Yep. We do have a chat bot here. Cool. Um, so that's great. Um, if you have time to do that or you have somebody who can answer it, uh, that's fantastic. There is a website called talk.2, talk.2. And if you have the money for it, you can hire somebody from that service to um to to answer your yeah. your answer your questions uh, yeah. again, I will send those details through to Taz. So don't worry about going and looking for it. I'll give him some instructions on how you can install that. It is free, so there's no reason why you shouldn't be using it. How good's that? Cool. It is great. Uh, we'll just have a quick look at Clint's recent work if I can get to it. And no, I don't think my computer's liking it. So we'll just jump across to Premier Decorating. Okay, fantastic. Uh, looks like a bit of an older style website and yep, 2014. So um, I don't know, like sometimes, sometimes people will look at this. I guess I look at it because I look at it and think, when was this website last updated? Yep. Google does understand if you are updating your website or not. And if you're having trouble or you're, wondering why you're not getting any leads from the web, maybe have a think about when was the last time you uploaded some content content to your website. Keeping it relevant. This is Matt's website. Okay. So he has, uh, has had some awards here, but from 2014. So is that up to date? Is that relevant? I'll let you be the judge. Again, let's go to his services page, Taz. And about services, fantastic. So, wow, got a lot of services there, does a lot of offerings and I'm sure is a fantastic um, a provider, but you've got a lot of opportunities. I love this, you've linked to your testimonials page. Yep. Um, commercial client list, fantastic. Big clients can see who you've worked with in the past, really important if you're wanting to do business on that level. 
Um, you know, especially when these sort of things come out, you'll get an email. Would you like to tender for this? They want it. They'll only contact you if they know that you've done that work. If you haven't done that work in that commercial space, but that is something you want to do, you still need to include content. And I'm sure Taz will have some strategies for you get moving into that space. Yep. Yep. Um, finance. I like this. This is good. I don't know. I haven't looked at this finance page, but interest-free finance available. Interest-free, fantastic. Um, borrow twenty thousand. I mean, that's great. Let's let's let's. Um, yeah, that's fantastic. Again, the only thing I would say is let's put a contact form in here. Um, this link does click off to another yeah. website. Yeah, just have a quick one. That goes back to let's keep them on our website. Uh, my internet connection is going super slow now, so I won't worry about loading that. Painters, Perth, Expressions, Painters and Decorators. Nice looking website, but on my website. I'm going to open up as well. It's a little bit blurry. I don't know. That might be on purpose. Um, that is a design sort of feature. I think um, as well, if you do have the opportunity, use your own images. Okay. So use your own images. I don't know if that's your image. Domestic services, commercial services, another Gildex painter. Mobile's up the top. Let's have a look at his domestic services page. Okay, it loaded really fast. That was a that's a plus. Um, yeah, got his too. Yep. yeah, okay, so that's a good factor. Except copyrights updated, archives, expression directors, smarter websites, web design, Perth. Um, yeah, that's fine. So that's good page. I mean, from a search engine optimization perspective, it's missing a lot of elements. It has no images, it has no video. It has no contact form again, and that's something I am seeing time again with these pages. It does have this get a quote button here. Um, you do have a lot of white space, and there is a design element to be said for having white space, but where possible, let's, um, let's give them a contact form or at least the link to the contact form somewhere along here. Um, we do have a lot of different areas where we can talk about our, our needs again, second to none. And I like this. I think down the track, you could think about what your steps are going to look like. This could be some kind of a design feature, um, a video, walking clients through. And uh, Taz, you, one of your early early websites did have, you know, that... Uh, that Explain a video. You know, yeah, that video, uh, not Wix, that, that just the explainer. intro video of how it all works. So, explainer video, yeah, it was a explainer. 90 second video just explaining the process of how it all happened from first introduction to right at the end. Yeah, okay, so contact page, oops, uh, mobile there, contact form. It's fantastic. I just put, you know, a little bit of information and maybe a map if you are targeting a specific area. Yeah, good work. Yep. So good work there. CNJ painting, quality and reliability. Okay. That's Craig in Adelaide. Yep. Beautiful. Call Craig. Got his phone number. I mean, this is a personalized website. I quite like it. Um, look, one thing that, that I have moved away from personally and any conversion rate optimization CRO expert would tell you would be get rid of the slides. Um, yeah, okay. I'm going to leave that totally to your discretion. Uh, but slides do slow down a website. And <clears throat> generally, we're not landing people on our home pages. It is a business card. From a Google perspective, we want to land them on one of our internal pages. But as we're short for time, we'll leave that to Interesting. you. Interesting. I have a question, Steve. Yeah. Um, 
I had uh, a coaching call with one of my clients yesterday and he's building a new website. Uh, it looks awesome. And uh, the, it's not wasn't, well, here's a bit of a question. He hasn't necessarily got slides in the new website that they're building, but they have this, this image that's a transition slide. So you got the old house and you can move the button from the left-hand side over the picture to the right-hand side and transition to the brand new house painting. Yep. Um, I suppose it's static until you start sliding. Is that would that is that sort of borderline or is that? Uh, no, that that would. It's with an if and a but, Taz. Um, yeah. It's not right. on the home page. It's on the transformations page. So yeah, that would be fine. Okay. Yeah, it's not on his home page. It's on a page. I mean, that's right. that's in that's something interactive. Uh, as long as the page loads fast. Yep. Um, and I'll send you some links for that later on. Yep. So clients can test their own websites on the speed. But um, as long as the page fast, but again, an interactive website that people can actually see the before and after. Yeah, why not? That's a winner. Yeah, that's what I thought. So some quick wins for <clears throat> CMJ painting. You've got your services here. You know what you do. Let's create a page for each one of these. Cool. Okay, you've got content. Let's create pages. Um, Google doesn't understand services, CNJ painting. I was about to point to that. Uh, <laughs> you can't see that. Yeah. Uh, you know, wallpapering uh, South Australia or wallpapering Adelaide, uh, high pressure cleaning Adelaide, timber and decking uh, finishes Adelaide, removal of graffiti Adelaide, wherever you are targeting. These are the sort of create the content and the pages so your users land on those pages. It's all about making it user-friendly. So when someone's searching for something, they can find the exact service they're looking. It is. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Jay Duggan, let's jump across to his page. That's Jay's website, yep. Okay, great. So Also in Adelaide, Jay. Fantastic. Hey is using the slider, but let's have a look through that. So <clears throat> I did see he had the photo of the team there. That's great. Oops. Scraise the handsome roof on the left. Got his painter's guarantee there, which is fine. This is fantastic. Winner past the painters. <laughs> Accountability, respect, honesty, hardworking. Yep, that's good. Master painters in Adelaide and South Australia, Master Painters Adelaide. So that's a good little search engine tactic there. And what we are looking at there, let's just have a quick look here, Master Painters H1. So that's what I was looking for here. H1 is the main header. And as we can see here, Jay or his SEO guys, have put in Master Painters Adelaide and South Australia, and they also have it in his meta title. So Google understands that Jay is a master painter in Adelaide because he's set it up here in his meta title, and he's yep. also set it here. And if I was to look through his content, I assume that I would see other references to that as well. Love the video on the homepage, and yep. he's done it correctly. It doesn't auto load. That was really fast, so that's good. Download a yeah. now. Mate, it's instant my side. Fantastic work. That's awesome. Let's have a look at your services page. Residential and commercial painting. So I can assume Jay has combined those into the two. And again, just a quick win for you. Jay, you've got uh, shop fit outs, commercial painting, concrete panel specialists. These are individual pages that you can create, but yeah. again, you've got these lists down here. You know what you do. You just need someone to execute it for you um, if you don't have the time to do it yourself, window cleaning. Yeah, so they, they, these are the quick wins for you. Um, Google loves to see content, lots of content. Um, more content you can give them, the more the faster they can understand what you do. 
Cool. He's got Article. his awards and testimonials. He's got a gallery. Oh, what's new? Let's have a look at that. Using a uh, info at jduggenpainting.com.au. So that's professional. And this, so this I assume is the blog which is a great place to keep your content up to date. The only thing I would quickly mention about the blog is make sure that you have a good strategy focused around your key areas and not to compete with other pages. How to find the best exterior painters Adelaide has to offer. If you were targeting a service page, that might be... Uh, <coughs> Painters Adelaide or Exterior Painters Adelaide. Make sure it doesn't compete with itself in Google. Um, this is perfect though. Like this is a really well thought out page. Yeah. There's, there's like an it. image. There's headers. I mean, if uh, if you think of what an F looks like, the, the letter F, this is how readers look at your page. They look at the header. They look quickly here. They look here. There's the F shape pattern. We'll see content here, content nice. here, yep. content here. This might be a little bit on their eye, but they're not really looking at it. And they move down the page. Have, have they moved down the page again? Call us today, submit a content, a comment. We could replace that with a form. It's likely that most local users or, or, or these people visiting your page are not going to submit a content comment. It's just, you're, you're not a blogger. So don't worry about the comments too much. Get a contact form in there. I do like this though. You've done really well. Recent posts. If people did want to look through that, you got your categories, you got your map, your phone numbers, your discount. I think you're doing everything right there. The offer. Yeah. Has. Let's jump yep. across to Sydney's personalizedpainting.com.au. That's Pete. Pete, okay. So uh, this avatar, uh, as this little W, we know that Pete is using WordPress, but as well, that will actually show up in Google. So you can change the, sorry, it's not called an avatar, it's called a favicon. So that little W, if you were to put um, one of your keyword searches into Google and you were competing with other people, you want them to see a miniaturized version of your logo, not the WordPress favicon. Okay, speak to your webmaster about that or have a look at WordPress on how to do it. It's really simple though. Uh, you just need to resize your logo to a really small size. I'll send Taz the details, so don't worry about it for now. Upload it to your server. It takes five seconds. Google will pick up on it and it will make you stand out uh, in search engines. Let's go through the rest of the page. Blog at wordpress.com. Down there. That's great. And look, I'm not going to say this is the prettiest website in the world, but it does get across the message reasonably well why use us licensed insured um, and this is great but if you are positioning yourself um, at that higher end of the market consider that some of your potential purchases may be put off by a basic website or you might get people trying to get you at a lower price because they think you're cheap just have a think about it. Interesting. Uh, look, looking at your services, again, some easy wins for you. Build out these pages. Build a page on graffiti removal in your target area. If your target area is your local suburb, do that. I mean, um, Taz, the golden rule of search engine marketing is to concentrate on your local area first. Become the king of that area. Become the king of your local area and then expand into other territories. That is the, the most important thing message that I can get across to everyone. 
um, in regards to that. Taz, have you got any feedback about that? I guess uh, using an OptusNet uh, .com .au email address for your branding, whereas you do have a dedicated domain. So get an email for it. There are lots of I, I think so, yeah. Just a couple of tips, Pete. Overall, looking good, brother. Um, for me, the colouring's hard to read with the dark and the orange and the black, the grey. Um, and like Steve said, if you can get, use your URL you're using already, you already own for your email, just to lift that, that um, persona of the business. Because you remember, this is what people are landing on, this is what they're gonna see. Everyone's gonna make, you know, unfortunately, people judge a book by its cover, so people are gonna make a decision in the first three to five seconds. So, a little bit with the coloring, I think. It's just, for me, it's difficult to read. It is. Um, he, there's, there's, just if we start there, you can't. You don't want to do all, everything at the same time, but just work your way through things. Make it visually pleasing, visually be able to read it. Call to action, grab their attention, and uh, a little tweak. Because the email you can do straight away. It's not hard. Yeah, speak to your web host on, on how you can set up your own email address. Um, it's something that takes five minutes. Okay, yeah. so. Um, yeah, look, it's fine. It needs this work. This website needs a lot of work. Um, would be my would be what I would say, but um, it is something that you can do a lot of yourself. Have a think about it. Um, have a look at your competitor competitors. When I look at your contact us page, I'm not seeing any localization other than Sydney. I know you want to rank for Sydney, but don't. Sydney's a really big area. And I had a lawyer or a conveyancer <laughs> contact me yesterday and they wanted to rank for Sydney. I said, where are you located? They were located in Parramatta. They had no website at that stage. Okay, so why not become the king of Parramatta before you become the king of Sydney? You need yep. to start small um, and, and grow from there. Sydney is a very big market, extremely competitive, as is Brisbane, as is Melbourne. Start with your local suburb. It's going to be the cheapest entry point into the market for you. Hear that, guys? It's the cheapest. And you get to you get to test and measure on a small scale what's working, what's not working, get your keywords right, and then you can expand. Look what Steve's saying. You can invest a bit more money to go out again a bit further and then out a bit further. Because trying to dominate the Sydney key term, you're competing against very big players in the market. Mate, okay, um, so we've moved across to uh, Time Frame Group Proprietary Limited. First thing I Matthew. noticed up. Sorry. So that's Matt's, Matt's website, Matt's business. G'day, Matt. First thing I've noticed here is that your website is not secure. So I think 2014, Google introduced SSL. Uh, it is at a search engine ranking factor. <clears throat> Um, depending on who your web host is, an SSL certificate is generally free these days um, or there are free versions about. I know I offer them for my clients. Um, you, can, you can buy one though if your web host doesn't uh, provide them. It's really important. If I was to go across to Google, um, it would be a lot more obvious. I'm using a Brave browser at the moment, but... Um, it's a trust factor. If I put this con, if I send you an email, it's all my data is is able to be seen as it's transmitted across the internet. We want it to get from point A to point B um, securely. Now I know that people aren't going to, you know, they're not sending you their credit card over the internet, but it is a search engine ranking factor and you are more likely to get an inquiry if that is secure. And again, it takes five minutes to set up. So just well, ask, ask your web host about that. Taz, anything on that? Um, no, mate, like, generally I like the layout. Yeah. When you land on the page, bang, um, it's engaging, gets my attention. Um, you've got the social proof on the homepage, the accreditations, it's always good. Mm -hmm. um, I can see in the trades and services, they do multiple different services. They've got them all split up. Yeah. Property maintenance. Then they've got the painting separate. 
Yep. Residential, commercial, industrial. So that's great. Mm -hmm. Paying it for a day, that's great. Handy and services. And then, like you said, the contact page, like with the maps, it's good. Yeah, I think this is a good example of how you could expand your areas as well. So with um, electrical services, for example, land on this page and again, lighting, hot water systems, switchboards, PowerPoints. Um, they're, they're, all, they're all areas that you can build on, build more content, let Google understand what you're about. Now, just quickly on this um, time frame group, there is something to be said for being a niche website. So do consider that offering lots of different services may make it harder for Google to understand what you are about if you do not correctly categorize your content. So quickly on that, trades and services, electrical services, um, PowerPoints, if I was an SEO looking at that, I would then create the link up the top just so you can all understand this. That's how it would look. PowerPoints would go under electrical services. Um, we wouldn't put it under um, the other method, which would be just like that. Okay, because we want Google to understand it is part of our electrical business. Same with switchboards. Hot water systems, I'd probably put under plumbing services, but, you know, that's uh, <coughs> something sort of together. Yeah. Paint of Sydney, you can see what you're doing there. It's in your footer. It's giving a bit of information. Let's see what happens when I click on that. I like these hero images. Oh, sorry, that page is missing. Paint of Sydney. So that page has been deleted. Um, you want to fix up any broken links that you have and you can see this hasn't been updated since 2015. So, you know, we all change things, but sometimes we forget to do it. Just go back over. I'll send Taz a broken link checker. You can put, you can put your website into it and just see if you do have any broken links. Um, we don't want people landing on these pages if possible. Okay, let's move hey, across performancepainting.net.au. Luke, Dan and Tazzy. Yeah. Um, now, I'll just quickly mention the .net.au. .net was originally for IT providers. Um, have a think about getting the .com.au or a variation of it, um, if possible. It's not a search engine ranking factor, supposedly but it's more of a, a will people click through to my .net.au or will they um, remember it's a .net.au. I'm not going to bother looking at performancepainting.com.au, but we don't want to lose traffic to a competitor. I do like the pop-up on the homepage. Yep. That could be... Um, it's current, a, meaning... Bit, but I, I'm sure we could switch that to other things as well. Um, there, there have been a couple of websites, Taz, that have had that um, those pop-ups, and and they're great. Just make sure they're not too intrusive, and people can get off them easily. Yeah. Uh, there's no call to action on this hero image, and I do have to manually scroll down. So, guys, um, I'm correct me if I'm wrong, Steve. Back in the old days, when I used to work on the websites, an important part of the website is they, it's called uh, above the fold. Now that is when someone opens it up, what they see instantly. So most people will look at that page and make a decision really quickly whether to scroll or whether to move across your menu bar. And Steve was just talking about a call to action. The <laughs> one of the most important things on your page is the call to action, the CTA, which is where are they gonna call, where are they gonna book, how are they gonna quote. So guys, if you could do anything with your website, so to be honest with any part of your marketing, the whole point of the marketing is to get people to contact you. That's the, it's to get them in the door. The selling comes later, but until you can have a communication with them, um, no sales are going to take place. Absolutely, Taz. So 
just have a, a chat to your webmaster about maybe some kind of, you know, um, what they are. We don't have a slider. Fantastic. So the page did load fast. That's great. Um, we could have some kind of button to push them down here. <clears throat> but, you know, it's a hero image. That will speed up your website. Yep. Uh, obviously, some commercial work here immediately and residential at the top. I do like that. Uh, painter Hobart profession. Yep. Fantastic. Professional painters. Good. Style of homes that you deal with. So that's fine. 2019 just needs to be updated there. Uh, services, exteriors, interiors, restorations, roof restorations. That's fantastic. Why us Dulux again, commercial dedicated area. And I am guessing you guys have been around the block for a while. So you've started building out the areas that you're targeting as well. So that is a fantastic idea too. Yeah, I think so too. My internet's really slow at the moment. So I won't try to get to those pages and we'll just move on. Good uh, work. Yeah. Thanks Luke. Yeah. That's great. Uh, so clean lines. Dave, it's down your way, buddy. He's a Mexican. <laughs> okay. Uh, interior, exterior. It's, it's a simple website. I like it. One thing I am seeing a lot of is the mobile phones. Um, mobile phones denotes that you are a micro business. So just be, keep that in mind. If you are wanting to step up to the next level, there are other options for getting a landline or a 1300 number. Again, I'll send some links through to Taz and you can have a think about that and maybe that's another topic for branding. And it doesn't have to be too expensive or it can just be a landline redirected to a mobile. Yeah. Um, or VoIP doesn't have to be a real number anymore. It can be a VoIP number, internet. Yeah, I think um, like five bucks a month or something you can do that. So if that, it's not much. I know with the current circumstances with, because I haven't seen Ange in about three, four weeks now. Ange's, Steve knows Ange, Angela's uh, pretty much runs the business, the yep. back end of the business. Um, but we've made the decision, given her a mobile and redirected the landline. So no one knows she's ringing for, or answering the mobile phone. Um, it's quite easy to do guys. Yeah, so. Look, I think um, we've covered off pretty much everything. Yes. Um, <clears throat> David's going to understand if he's been watching from the other ones we've looked at. You do have a lot of opportunity here. I'm not sure what this one's built in. Let me have a quick look at the <clears throat> source. Uh, static storage. Okay, no, it's not WordPress. I don't think I could be wrong, though. It might be Wix or something similar. And look, Wix is, I mean, if, if it was a choice of having a Wix website or no website, I'd say get a Wix website. Having a website is better than having nothing. No website, correct. <clears throat> Again, you've got a lot of opportunity here. I'm sure you're experienced and know what you do. There is a lot of content that can be built. And um, I think at a later stage, we'll go through my, another, another session, how to create content on a budget, um, gallery, Again, we do get inquiries for Taz's website from the gallery. So keeping that up to date, really important, especially if we want to target a specific area. Let's just say um, Queenslander homes for, for Queenslanders. Uh, do we have those included in our gallery? Contact information, very simple. Um, I do want to know where you're located. So have to think about that too. You may not, you may not have an address that you want people um, visiting, and that's fine too. Just chuck the suburb in and a map of the area, if possible. And I think Dragonfly Decorators was the last one, Taz. Second last one. We got after that, we got, well, I'll send it to you. Um, Whiteyspainting.com. Okay, we'll open that one up in a second. So, female flair and care. There's She's in the, in the UK, mate. I'm sorry? She's in the United Kingdom. Ah, oh, okay. Awesome. I was, I was about to say uh, 07. Yeah, got the number. So first thing I see, again, we've got a Hotmail address, email address up the top. 
you, but you've got a dragonflydecorators.co.uk. Switch it over to <coughs> info or your name at dragonfly.co.uk. Yep. It's more professional. Um, what is your call to action here? You've already got the logo here. <coughs> so you can think about having some call to action here. This image is, are these images relevant to what your business does? I'm not sure. Let's have a look. Picture of yourself. That's fantastic. And you're a female painter or your female crew. That's great. Fantastic point of difference. Uh, videos on the homepage. Okay, I don't know what they are, but I assume they're good. So that's good. I, I, I like videos everywhere because not everyone likes to read. Um, I'm a bit the same, mate. <laughs> a little bit of information down the website, and this is good. Testimonials. Let's click here and visit my page on Neil. Again, we're taking people off the website. Can we introduce whatever factors you're trying to sell on your website, services. Okay, um, just taking a moment to load there, but catering to Suffolk and Norfolk area. So that does, does give you the ability to really ram that home and uh, produce more content about Suffolk and Norfolk painting services and any other towns or shires, I think they call them over in the UK, um, immediately around you. Um, again, I love the female flair um, part. Let's, if you are a team of female painters, let's really promote that. There, that is an angle for you. Um, and that's just not loading for me. So sorry about that. But um, Steve, if you don't have the last one, I've just emailed it to you. Okay, great. <clears throat> and if you've got time, one more after that. I've just got a uh, request from Mitch, but I know we've been on for a while. Um, I'll just see more. <clears throat> uh, it seems a bit slow for me, mate. What's the um, what is the what's the uh, URL? URL. Hang on, let me go find it. Um, YT's painting, W H I T E Y S painting. <laughs> Maybe speed this up a little bit. Do you want me to share my screen, buddy? May, that might be a better idea, I think, yeah. All right. We'll just swap. Let me know when you... Oh, you're unshared? Cool. Oh, I have unshared, yeah. Perfect. Share screen. Cool. Okay, fantastic. Everybody. Nice. All right. All right. So we do have a slider at the top of the screen, but what I love about this, get a painting quote now. Yep. Um, name, email, phone. People can immediately contact him. Action. And the phone number on the left is sliding through. Yeah, love it. All above the fold. Yeah. Yeah, that's fantastic. Not sure how it looks in a mobile, but um, <clears throat> open that. I'm um, scrolling right, okay. down the... Yep, yeah, services. Look, I can see. That's fantastic. Yeah, he's got the services. Yeah, yeah. Got the um, I would say just underneath 
where it says our quality standards speak for itself because that's what really matters. You know, we could have a short blurb there and then go into the services that he's listed below, but I can see just from your screen, Taz, that he has thought about this. I uh, can see that he um, has, has really put those into their own <laughs> services. It defines, it, it's easy for the customer to find that information. Let's just scroll down a little bit further. And it's easy for Google to understand what those pages are about. Yep. Um, All right, mate, I'll flick through. And we saw the services, test, you've got a testimonials page. <clears throat> it's good. Call to action follows everyone through. It's right inside. Like that. That's good. Always got that contact form. Now, uh, again, this website is not secure. That'd be the, the falling over, I would say. But so when you, that's the SL SSL certificate you're talking about. It is, yes. Yeah. Um, so I'm just <clears throat> looking at it on my mobile phone as well. Okay. Cool. Yes. Can jump over to service area. Looks like. Go back. Also in Sydney. Yep. So, well. um, so this is fine. We'll just stay on this page for a moment. <clears throat> okay, mate. I just think, um, you know, like uh, uh, this can work. And again, this goes back to don't look at your competitors too much or what other people are doing too much because what works for some people may not work for you. Google will and has changed the way it treats newer websites or newer tactics. That doesn't mean that because older websites are doing something, you should be doing the same thing because Google has come out and said, you know, if somebody, somebody else's website's been around for 20 years, um, we might allow them to get away with stuff that we might not let, allow newer websites to get away with. So just keep that in mind. Um, this, this page here, we, we see Abbott's Free Painting Services. We see services a lot on these pages. Maybe try and mix it up where possible. Um, that's all I'm saying. Oh, in regards to that. Otherwise, I do like the SEO strategy uh, that has been sort of introduced to this website. I think um, the design could do a little bit of work, maybe a little bit of modernization, but otherwise the SEO strategy looks to be fairly on point without having actually checked it uh, manually myself. I'm just going to jump on the contact us page. Yeah. Um, good, got your mobile, got your admin at Whitey's Painting. Um, could do with a map. And got a blog. Where, I mean, where where is Whitey located? Yep. So we get Mitch's website. Sorry, Mitch, I don't have your website in front of me at the moment. I can't access the comments while we're doing a live. That's cool. Look, it just, again, something to consider. You're targeting all of these different areas. Are you the king of your own area first? Um, yep. What area of Sydney? And I get it, right? I mean, the majority of the, the search is, is painted Sydney, but there is search in the local areas, especially if somebody wants to do business with someone in the local area. Um, and they are going to vary from town to town, but, um, you know, Parramatta, sure. for example, is, is a long way from Sydney City. Cool. All right, mate. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just going to um, unshare. And uh, see if we can get this connected back up again. Who's that? So, Steve, <clears throat> quick two-minute, can we do a two-minute review? 
Absolutely. <laughs> We're going to cover everyone's website. Not everyone's website, but some maybe top five tips or takeaways from today. Yeah. So I think the number one sort of thing I saw today was make sure that you are maximising the ability for your users to make contact with you. If there's a page without a contact form, consider adding a contact form. At, le at the very minimum, introduce a link through to your contact page and a phone number. Um, they are the, the, the number one thing. If they are landing on an internal page, make sure that they can contact you with ease. Remember, you are dealing with a wide range of people in Australia from uh, middle-aged middle, pe middle -aged people who are a little bit internet savvy to 80-year-olds who barely know how to use a computer but are forced to. Can I ask, am I middle-aged? Uh, are we middle-aged? Right? <laughs> we are, unfortunately. Because <laughs> if there's going to be a TikTok review, I've got no chance. I've got no. Oh. I'm sure you can do a groovy dance, though. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to drop. No, that's okay. Um, take, uh, take away number two, I guess, would be you all know what you do. Uh, you have your service pages. Think about building those service pages out with as much specific information about the service that you offer. Is it specific information about interior painting? Uh, is it specific information about exterior Um uh, body corporate, so on and so forth. Really think about building out those service pages. It's a quick win for you. And even if you um, just sit there and record yourself and then type that out, you, you're going to get the best content. The best content, the way I will often do it is I will just think about what I would actually say to somebody uh, in an elevator pitch and then I will write that out and expand on it. And so in the elevator okay. pitch, you know, 30, 30 seconds of, of what I do. Yeah. Um, two, make sure, uh, three, number three, <clears throat> focus on your local area first before reaching out to bigger metro areas. If you are going to hire a consultant, a search, in a search engine optimizer like myself, it's going to be your cheapest entry into the marketplace. Um, and, you know, at this time, we're trying to all spend as little amount of money as possible. Um, unfortunately, you know, marketers do charge a lot. You, you are, especially the sort of the more experienced um, are going to have higher rates and what their service offering is. So, for example, when a client uses my services. We don't just do SEO. We also do website maintenance, um, web page um, builds and all of those sort of things. So that's kind of all included in the price. Um, then you will get specialized SEOs and unfortunately they will charge just as much. Um, I do not recommend anybody going out and using an Indian or overseas SEO. They don't know enough about the local market. They do not know where Ipswich is and you will end up getting links from Perth or <laughs> worse, Russia or something like that. Do not use uh, a non-Australian for this type of work. So to be a pain, but I should have wrote this down. What were the first two? I, um, I um, jumped. Uh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, mate. sorry, mate. I should be writing it down. That's okay. I, I lost my train of thought. So, um, the the one I just covered was the the focus local, focus uh, focus local. Number two was your content marketing quick wins. Um, look at your service pages, and maybe someone in the chat room can tell us what number one was. Because um, so I get in a train of a, a pattern of thought, and then I. No, mate, that's, mate, I apologise. I should have wrote it down. And I, should have, okay. I was listening, but I was listening at the same time, but then I tried to remember what you said. <laughs> I better write this stuff down. Let's jump on the four. 
So I that think they, that. you know, they're the sort of, um, yeah. They, they're the main Thanks, thing guys. I'm concentrating on. Um, your local market is is obviously the quick win for you. Have a have a think. Uh, again, the other things, I guess, oh, that's all right. So, yeah, contact details. So make sure you are maximising the ability for a conversion to any website visitor, however they, they get to your website. Um, I guess moving into four, you know, minimise them leaving your website um, by, you know, we want to minimise those Facebook and Instagram logos. Um, it is your website. Let's keep them on the page. And um, for another session, um, remarketing to that audience, I would say, is a number one. If you ha um, next, if you haven't had a, a, a website refresh in a while, um, now's the perfect time to do so. Cool. Um, website refresh. How about speed? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So SEO speed. SEO is a, a speed a ranking factor for Google. Remember, everybody is on their mobile at the moment. Um, so there's a lot more mobile traffic. So your website, I think most of the ones I looked at did work well in mobile smartphones. Uh, but they also need to load fast in a smartphone. And generally... The recommendation is un your website needs to load fully in under three seconds on a 3G connection. Um, where possibly host locally, uh, get a host that has an SSL certificate. So that any data can be encrypted over uh, transmission. It is it is a search engine ranking optimization feature. Um, but I think there are a lot of things we didn't cover today, Taz, unfortunately, just sort of spoke yeah. for a long time. And time. Time constraints, mate, we can... There are a few other things I probably would have, uh, I'll just quickly mention now, and um, feel, I am in the Inside Painters group, so if you do have any questions, feel free to post them and I'll try and answer them as best I can, but quickly um, sign up for Google Search Console. It's a free product by Google. It tells you a lot about your business. Sign up for Google Analytics. Um, it gives you a little bit more detailed information. And if you're not currently in Google Maps, uh, sign up for Google My Business. So three, three Google properties that you need to sign up for. Google My Business, Google Search Console, and Google Analytics. I don't know. Again, I'll shoot the links later to Taz. Google My Business, Google Maps. Yep. And was last one, buddy? Uh, Google Analytics. Because cool. these are relatively, well, these are free. They're absolutely free, yeah. Um, so maybe we'll leave those ones for another session. If anyone wants to reach out to me, can I, can I do a quick sales pitch, Taz? Go for it, buddy. <laughs> My website is mediafortress.com.au. Uh, if you do have any questions, feel free to hit me up on Facebook or, or shoot me an email. We do do uh, domains, web hosting, websites, and uh, search engine optimization and marketing services. So please feel free to hit me up on the Inside Painters group or uh, privately if you needed to ask something about your business. More than happy to help. And got a bit more free time at the moment with things being uh, relatively quiet, but uh, surprisingly, a lot of people are. Uh, asking me questions at the moment. So um, 
Cool. My number one takeaway would be, Taz, stay ahead of the curve. Um, prepare for the other side of COVID because it's not going to last forever. Yeah. Um, and people are at homes and they are going to be seeing, you know, that painting needs. Um, I know in my own home, we have a two-storey and I have four young children. And as they come down the stairs, they leave their fingerprints everywhere. <laughs> I was just saying to the wife last night, we need to get this house painted. Um, now that I'm home more than not, I'm noticing it. So have a think about it. Mate, he, guys, here's an example. Um, I saw it on, I think I saw it on Luke's website, <clears throat> uh, performance painting with the virtual quoting. Um, that's something we do as well. And I got an inquiry <clears throat> uh, yesterday for someone who wanted a virtual quote. And she came through Messenger and Facebook because we marketed it on all different platforms. She came through Messenger, um, Facebook, had a bit of a chat to her. Exactly the same thing, mate. She's sitting at home for two weeks, looking at the house, tidying up and decluttering and going, mate, this house, I need a paint job. But with her current uh, health issues, I think she, had, she was saying she had some respiratory problems. She can't have anyone go around. Um, we were able to give her a virtual quote. Um, well, I could do it within 20 minutes, really, having a chat to her, not even 20 minutes, having a chat to her, <clears throat> get her address, get some photos, do a quick video so, um, FaceTime with her, with her house and um, using near mats, I can get the floor area, after we to get some photos, I was able to get a very accurate quote, which I can say I'm almost converted. So it's gonna happen more often now, guys. People are gonna be wanting, um, potentially wanting virtual quotes, but they're gonna be more aware of what they need done around the house, not just painting, what they need done around the house. So, like Steve, he's noticed he needs, needs a paint job in the Melbourne area. <laughs> uh, mate, thank you very much, Steve. I appreciate your time. Absolute um, pleasure, Taz. <clears throat> you know, you gave us a ton of value, a ton of time today. Um, anyone wants to contact Steve, he's in the group, or contact me, I'll, I'll put you onto him. Uh, like I said at the beginning of this call, Steve and I were working together for almost a decade. That must say something about how how good we not only how good we work together, but how good he is at his job. So um, yeah. I, there's there's one thing, and you probably if you've been in business long enough, you're probably aware of this. And uh, Steve lived it before. I thought the interwebs. Um, there's a lot of confusion, smoke and mirrors. It's, it's very it's a very unclear for traders like us what works, what doesn't work, what's going to work long-term. Is it just a quick fix now? And it looks like we get a bit of spike, but long-term we just get no results. Um, you should always, in, if you need any sort of relationship you want to build with your business, with your suppliers, your team, your external suppliers, um, and stakeholders like Steve's a very important stakeholder in our business. Um, work with people that you get, that you can trust, one, but if you can get a referral, you're going to get, uh, further along the line than most people. And like Steve said before, you know, working on our business at this current time and staying, you know, very proactive. So when this does end, because it will end, um, we'll hit the ground running. And you want to be one of those businesses that's in a good, good position, good spot where you can hit the ground running. Um, I did a quick live. Well, I meant to do a 10 minute live last week, ended up being a half an hour live. And if you saw that, I just identified there's three types of people now in business. There's the people that are going to be doing nothing and they may not make it. There's going to be people that are doing some things and they're going to be they're going to struggle along the way. And there's going to be people doing the right things. Jump into that boat with people doing the right things. Get the right information. Get the right advice. Work on your business in, whenever you can. I know it's a bit, it's even hard now during these times, but it's definitely fine time to start working on your business. Whether you're um, looking at your overheads, looking at your costs and running a lean ship at this period of time, but don't forget you have to do some sort of marketing. I was reading an article yesterday and there was a study around the, the Great Depression in the 30s, um, World War II, the 80s, the crash, the 90s, the crash, the businesses, I'll find the quote and I'll put it up here. The business, the Harvard um, study, the businesses that continue to market during those depressions or those downturns, um, had an almost 300% increase in business when they came out. The businesses that minimized the amount of marketing they did, they increased, but it was like a 20% increase in, in sales and revenue. So it's, 
It's just about being smart with the dollars, looking at what's making, giving the most bang for your buck. Um, things that Steve shared today, a lot of it's free. It's your time. Um, it's, it's free. And now there's other things you can do. You can work on your social media presence, more content, get more stuff out there, start engaging with the audience, start building your audience. That's free. It's still marketing. It's all about building trust with people that are going to potentially be your clients. That's a wrap. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, um, take care. Have a good Easter break. Um, yeah, long weekend. Yeah, have a good Easter. Have a good Easter, Steve. Thank you very much again. Cheers to us. Um, see everybody. Thanks for watching. And uh, happy Easter. See ya. When I can stop sharing. <laughs> See you guys.